Hello, I am Ishan, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a failed or stuck Spark SQL query in Amazon EMR. Let's get started. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the Amazon EMR console. For this video, I have already started an Amazon EMR cluster and created an example Spark SQL. Using the new Amazon EMR console, when the cluster page appears, select the Applications tab, then choose the Spark History Server UI link. If you are using the old Amazon EMR console, when the cluster page appears, select the Application User Interface. Then choose the Spark History Server link under the Persistent Application User Interface section. Choose the Spark SQL job application ID that you want to view. This will navigate to the completed job ID page under the job tab. Then select the Spark SQL data frame tab. This page shows the completed Spark SQL queries. Here we can see whether the status of the Spark SQL is successful and the time that query was submitted. The page also shows the duration of this query and associated SQL query. Choose the job ID of a completed query. Then expand the event timeline and DAG visualization options. From here, you can view the timeline of the application ID. It shows the chronological order of adding and removing the Spark executors. By scrolling down on the job page, you can see the DAG directed acyclic graph, the visualization of the Spark SQL. Here, you can see a chain of RDD dependencies. It looks like the following for the example Spark SQL. The blue shade represents the Spark operation and the dot in the blue shade represents the RDD created by the corresponding operations. You can choose the blue shaded box to see more details of the stages. Scroll down to see the completed stages for the Spark SQL job. Choose the description link of the stage ID to see information about total time across all the tasks locality level summary, and the associated job ID. The stage view gives details of all the RDDs that corresponds to this stage. You can find information about the lower level RDD operation related to the high level Spark SQL operation, which can be regarded as a query plan. Scroll down to get more information about the additional metrics for the job ID. For the example Spark SQL job, you can see the metrics duration, GC time, scheduler delay, task deserialization time, result serialization time, getting result time, and peak execution memory. Scroll down further to expand aggregated metrics by executors. Choose the executors log to see more details about the Spark SQL job. Check the task level logs for the Spark SQL job by choosing the standard out or standard error logs. And now you know how to troubleshoot a failed or stuck Spark SQL query in Amazon EMR. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.